Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am very pregnant. I am 36 weeks pregnant and I am going to be in a wedding next weekend. I have this dress. It is huge. I bought it huge when I agreed to be in the wedding because I knew I'd be pregnant. So anyways, now this video is about altering it to make it look right. I'm actually going to have to take out most of the waistband. I don't think I'm going to take out the whole thing, maybe about half of it, just so it rests up here. And I'm going to have to shorten this up here because this is hanging because my belly is pushing everything up. So I ordered this dress longer, wider. I got a wider bust area and a really big waist area just to make sure that I could fit. And it actually does fit pretty accurately right now. Like it actually stays on me. <laughs> so you're probably asking me, why did I just not buy a maternity dress? Well, Honestly, the styles that were in maternity just did not fit the bride's style. And I was like, hey, I know how to do this. The only thing I can do at this point is basically take the dress apart and I will take this waistband off, probably trim it really thin. I don't know if I even want to keep the waistband, but I'll experiment with that. So I'll just take the whole skirt off. Now I detached the zipper from the waistband and you're probably wondering, how did I do that? This is a little bit confusing. Um, let me demonstrate for you how I got to the inside of this dress. We'll just pretend the zipper's not out, but the zipper is out right now. So basically there are different layers in how bridesmaid dresses are made. And this is so that they can be easily altered. And one thing you will find if you go to the bottom of the skirt, here is the back seam. The zipper is down here and here's the seam going down. You have the chiffon layer which is the outside layer. There is the dress layer slash lining, and there is another layer here. So there are two lining layers, and then it goes all the way around. So basically, when you're altering a bridesmaid dress, you take two, or even a wedding dress, you take these two layers, and you open them up in between here. And this is where you do all of your alterations. So let me pull this out here. You will find when you open it up, there is the inside of the dress with all the boning and everything. And you can move the boning around, make your alterations, but that is something that all bridesmaid dresses have. Typically, there was only one dress that I ran into one time, but out of all the alterations that I have ever done. So that being said, I'm going to continue taking this skirt off. Now that I have, I'm just gonna flip the whole thing. It's kind of confusing. It plays tricks on your brain. I'm cheating. I don't recommend this, but I'm just yanking it open because there's a lot to tear out. So I just took this whole part off here. This is the outside skirt and then there's the lining skirt. So I have, this has one of the linings and the chiffon attached to one. And then this is the layer on the other side that's in between. Remember we have the two layers where you go in between. This is the other layer that has no chiffon on it. And I'm going to take this off as well. If I were doing a professional alterations job, I would not be ripping this. But because I know I'm going to be doing all kinds of alterations on here and cutting and shortening, I don't feel as guilty. All right, so I just basically took the bodice off and I'm gonna work with the bodice first and then work with the actual skirt. I'm gonna take this waistband off. Well, I don't know, I might trim it I'm still undecided because I don't know how the gathers on the gathers are going to look. So I might leave like a really thin strip to have as a little small waistband. I'm not sure. So I'm on Pinterest and I'm looking at these and it looks like there's a little bit of some gathers mixed in there on the top and the bottom, but those are more crisscross. Oh, this isn't too, well, this has a waistband on it. Let's see, this, this is exactly actually what I'm going for. This is a perfect example, and it looks like there is a little waistband in there. So I'm going to keep a thin waistband just to divide the top from the bottom. And just taking out a little bit of the boning, because the boning does not need to go all the way down that far. It digs into my stomach. Whoop! Here we go. Waistband is off. Taking the last part off. Keep those on the side. We are down to raw bones here. There are no waistbands and we took apart this whole dress, not the whole dress, but most of it. And I'm going to try this on, but I'm not going to video that because that's just not appropriate in my opinion. 
Okay, so I took the waistband off. I tried it on and I trimmed it a little bit. So I'm still working on the reshaping of the bodice here. My goal is to have it kind of droop down because I feel like on my belly, it just looks better when this is higher and this part's lower. So I'm just gonna kind of fidget with that a little bit. And I cut out my waistband and made it all flat, stitched it to the bodice and started to stitch it on the machine, got it all ready to go. And I pressed it really nice, applied all of my principles and I went to go try it on and it seemed to work. So I put it on the mannequin as a sample and then I basted the skirt to the dress just to see how it looked. Okay guys, so I tried on the dress and honestly this waistband is not striking me as looking like it works well. First of all, this is like a strapless dress underneath here and I need to take it in here to kind of give it some support so I'm not constantly lifting it up. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting rid of that waistband, bringing this up. Yeah, I just think it needs to be higher because my belly is just that big right now. Another thought is this, that, um, what was I gonna say? Um, so this here, there's just so much fabric in here and I just feel like it's a little bit too much. It's kind of hard to see here, but in person it does look very large um, just with how much fabric is here. So I'm gonna let out some of these gathers to kind of make it drape a little better and show off my belly. Cause right now it's like, what's going on there? There's just so much there. So I'm gonna take some of that out. Just took the waistband off. It did not look the same in person on video. It might've looked better, but I think that's cause the video was actually slimming me. So I'm basically cutting out the excess gathers and yeah. I have the gathers all adjusted. There's not as many and I tried on the skirt and I felt like it draped a little nicer on my belly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just attach it to the bodice. Okay, so I released all of those gathers and everything and I feel like I don't look as huge as I was before. So I'm actually really happy with how this looks. I think this looks much better without the waistband there in the front and it just needs some pressing. The gathers are a little bit fluffing out, but I'm gonna go with it. I actually really like how this looks and the back looks pretty decent. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with this. So it's completely done and I closed up everything Got the zipper all done, got that all nice and sewn up, looking normal, and I'm going to try it on now that it is completely done. And I didn't go through how I did the zipper because that will be for another video. Um, you'll just have to subscribe to my YouTube channel because if I do another formal, I will show you how to do things like that. So, but this is how I made it into a maternity dress. And here we go. I have not hemmed the dress yet because I'm still going to get shoes, but this is what it looks like. I just basically took the waistband out and that was it. And I raised it to an empire waist so that it would fit over my belly. So anyways, um, I have been busy with a lot because I'm pregnant. And actually, by the time the next video is posted, the baby actually might be here. I am not dropping off the face of the earth. However, I am basically, in a way, going on maternity leave pretty soon, so you might see me a little bit pregnant in some of my videos, like, wait a minute, she went backwards, she shrunk her belly. But that is because I had to record some things ahead of time so that there would be some content for you guys. I actually made Cinderella's dress, so, um, her day dress. So anyways, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you all next time.